Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string operation and in this video we will cover the string operation translate. What is the function of translate? Using translate you can convert a string to uppercase or lowercase. Now along with this we can do the translation based upon some pattern also. Pattern is we will define the rule and based upon that we can translate a string. So purpose of translate is to convert a string to uppercase or lowercase. Uppercase means everything will be in capital. Lowercase means everything will be in small. Now we can do that translation based upon some specific pattern also. Means we will define the rule and based upon that we can translate. Now firstly what we will do, we will do the practical. Then I will read the syntax from the slide. So it will make more sense. So we will go for the system and we will do the practical of translate. Suppose I will comment all the logic. Okay, everything is commented because these all operations covered. Now we will go for translate. Suppose I am declaring one variable. Data. LB underscore input. Suppose I am saying length is 50. Type C value. Suppose I am taking welcome to home. Now, suppose I will take one more input variable. I will write LV underscore input one. Suppose length is 50. Type C value. Suppose I will take everything in small. Welcome to home. We'll check the syntax and activate. First string. We will first string, we will translate to our first variable. We will translate to lowercase. Second one, we will translate to uppercase. So how we will write the syntax? Translate is a keyword tab. LV underscore input. We are translating LV underscore input. Two, two is a keyword and lowercase, lowercase is a keyword. So whenever we will apply translation onto this, this W will also convert to lower. This 2 will also, this T will also convert to lower. This H will also convert to lowercase. I will print the output using write. Suppose I am saying LV underscore in. Now we will translate to uppercase. So translate is a keyword. LV underscore input one. Two is keyword uppercase. I will apply pretty printer. After applying pretty printer, code is properly aligned and every keyword converted to uppercase. Now I will write LV underscore input one. I'll check the syntax and activate. I will show you the result now. I'm running the program. Best understanding I'll show in the debugging mode. This is our value. This is our value of LV underscore input. And this is our value of LV underscore input one. LV input W capital T capital H capital. Now I will execute this statement. You all know if you want to execute the statement or if you want to go for line by line execution, you have to do F6. Now you can see 
after this x statement execute everything w converted to lower t converted to lower and h converted to lower now we are displaying now lv underscore input one we are converting to uppercase so now you can see everything converted to uppercase now we are displaying so this is our output so now you converted a you converted a string to lowercase and uppercase using translate we have one more one more benefit of translate and that is the widely widely used i'll say option of translate we can do that translation using a specific pattern pattern means we will define that pattern means we will define that rule based upon that we can go for translate so what we will do i will declare one more variable suppose i am saying lv underscore suppose the rule so that you can understand fully so i gave the name lv underscore rule suppose length is 10 type c value suppose now we will go for some specific pattern or rule what we will define okay suppose i am saying small w will be replaced by capital w small t will be replaced by capital t small h will be replaced by capital h the rest is okay so i defined a rule and whenever you are defining a rule it always always work in pairs pairs means it will be replaced by this this will be replaced by this this will be replaced by this so this is how you can define a pattern or how you can define a rule as of now if i will show you one point you can clearly understand pattern always is letter pairs pairs it will always always work in pairs so we defined our rule that small w will be capital w t small t will be capital t small h will be capital h this is what we defined suppose i will activate the program i'll remove this breakpoint as of now suppose i will remove i will comment this also now we will do that translation we will do we will apply translate on to this based upon this rule suppose how i will apply translate is a keyword lv underscore input one using is a keyword using and you want to translate this using which particular rule lv underscore rule see how it will work this is you are welcome to home it will check in this particular string what is the rule defined small w will be replaced by capital w it then it will check is there then the t will come small t will be replaced by capital t then it will proceed further small h will be replaced by capital h so it will translate this particular thing based upon this particular thing we are translating this using this particular rule so this is widely widely used yes that you can define your rule you can define your pattern suppose now i will do right suppose output i will write something output using pattern using on pattern so that we can understand fully i will write lv underscore input one after this will be translate based upon this rule we are displaying i'll put a breakpoint and show you in debugging mode i'm running the program this is your lv underscore input one initial level 
and this is our rule. This will translate based upon this rule. So it will check first the W. Is there any rule for W defined? Yes, it work in pair. Is there any rule for E defined? No. L, any rule defined? No. C, any rule defined? No. O, any rule defined? No. M, any rule defined? No. E, any rule defined? No. Now T, any rule defined in the pair? Yes, T will be replaced by capital T. O, any rule defined? No. H, any rule defined? Yes, small h will be replaced by capital H. O, M, E, no rule defined. Now, if I will do F6, now you can see how this string, how this string translated. Now you can see this is the output. So this is widely, widely used option in case of translate. Now we will read the theory part. We can translate a string to uppercase and your lowercase using translate. We firstly applied translate. Yes, we used translate. Translate string to uppercase slash lowercase. We applied firstly up, uh, upper, we firstly applied lowercase and then we applied uppercase. Same to same syntax we used. Now we did the translation using pattern. So how we applied translate, whatever the string you want to translate using is the keyword and then we use pattern. Pattern means rule, whatever the rule you define. So pattern always, always work in pairs. This is the most, most important part. So what is the summary of the video? We studied one more string operation translate. You can translate a string to uppercase, lowercase, or based upon specific rule or pattern, whatever the rule you are defining. So that's it in this video. Thank you.